Well, I did it. I farmed the Blade of Yumminess on Kefalonia. This is actually the third time I found it in the inventory. Uh, but this is the first time I found it when I knew I had enough money to buy it. So we're going to quickly toggle on our Drac Me bonus. And we're going to sell all of this stuff I've been farming. And it was totally worth it to farm all of these things on Kefalonia just to get this stupid sword. Why are we doing this? So the concept was farm the Blade of Yumminess and that once we had the Blade of Yumminess we could then use it to one-shot uh, the mercenary who tracks you down on Kefalonia. Uh, normally that's like a knockdown drag out fight because you're capped at level seven with my piddly 25% booster. Uh, maybe if you have the 50% boost you could get to eight or nine. I don't know. I haven't played uh, with that before so I, I'm not sure how far you would get but and if you have no boosters probably five. Um, pro tip by the way if you have the ability to unlock one of these temporary boosters from your Ubisoft club um, if you aggressively toggle it on and off and only turn it on when you're turning in quests you can get most of the benefit out of it without using hardly any of the time so I've only had this on for nine a little a little over eight minutes um, and I had it on for every quest turn in uh, and that boosted me up quite a bit you can stretch out that four hour booster to like you know 30 40 levels um, of gameplay maybe more if you're really aggressive about it and that works with main quest turn-ins that works with side quest turn-ins uh, and if you're watching the trackers on the war contracts it works for those too um, you can toggle it on right before you destroy the last ship or burn the last war supply whatever anyhow um, just rambling to fill time while I left click to sell um, as you can see it's mostly common items so not very much money each um, occasional rare uh, but they are pretty rare at this level most of those I think were special drops from specific uh, NPCs for quests and stuff but there you have it 10,000 ish plus trade goods it's going to take me to 15,223. I'm just going to go ahead and drop all of that on the Blade of Yumminess and be left with 482. Uh, good times. Good times. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go kill Talos the Stone Fist. Alright, so this time we're going to put the actual sword on. And I logged in during the weekend, so I have the Ezio armor, uh, which is going to make critting him a lot easier, uh, just because normally you wouldn't have a 14% chance here. Uh, you'd have, like, 10. Um, actually, with Penelope Shroud, maybe 11 or 12. Um, but you'd have 5% from this, and you have 5% base, plus at least 1% from Penelope Shroud if you put it on. So that would be 11. Um, so... That does make things easier. A little easier. Not not much easier. A little. You should have turned down this bounty, Talos. And we got it. So there you go. One shotting Talos on Kefalonia at level seven. So what should you do instead? Um, well, first of all, um, I will explain how I did that. Uh, so the key that I found was Kleptos Bay, uh, the Lumber Shipyard, and Cyclops' Lair. Um, so what I would do is I would fast travel to the Star Observatory, and once I got there, I would meditate twice, I would go into the game options, change the difficulty level um, back and forth. So change it from, say, Nightmare to Heavy. Oh, by the way, I'm on Nightmare right now, um, just, just to get that out of the way. So I would change it from Nightmare to Hard, 
And when you do that and you hit escape to leave, it tells you to do this. And when it reloads the game, um, that's good. That's what you want it to do. Uh, and then you can change it back to Nightmare and it will reload the game again. And then you meditate two more times. And I found that, that what that would do is it would consistently respawn uh, the captain level enemies uh, in these places. So I would get two more bandit leaders here. I would get um, a bandit leader here and I would get a bandit leader here. And that those bandit leaders with those captain level um, drop chances would not always drop an item but would almost always drop an item. Um, so that was um, two, three, four items per loop. Uh, and I've found that I also had the best results if instead of trying to fast travel to the other side of the island, if I rode my horse from uh, Kleptos Bay over to the Cyclops' lair and then the lumber shipyard. And there was one additional step uh, that was key. Um, and that was something that I will show you um, after I have traveled over to the Cyclops' lair. Final additional step is every time you loop through the Cyclops' lair, you are looking at uh, these three weapon racks. There's one right here that's kind of tucked behind the house, and then there's two in the central courtyard. One here, and one under the awning uh, right over there. Right there. Um, those will not regenerate every time. Uh, in my experience, they regenerated every second or third time-ish. Um, and when that happens, that is your cue uh, to go a little bit off uh, of your uh, off the loop um, to hit up the rest of the weapon racks on the item. And I looked all over and I found two at the abandoned house, and I found two more at Odysseus's palace. Um, so I will show you where those are. The abandoned house, so I'd ride up. Uh, these guys just stay dead this entire time. Right through the front door, there's a weapon rack here. Climb over this wall, there's a second weapon rack there. And then to round out the loop, we would cross, of weapon racks, we would cross the bay. Um, I'm not actually going to walk all the way over there, because I think it'll be faster to fly. And there's two more weapon racks over at Odysseus's palace. Uh, and this is worth doing because these are guaranteed drops, and uh, they are almost always weapons, if not always weapons, uh, because they are, after all, weapon racks. And the weapons tend to sell for more than the armor pieces. Okay, so there's one more right there. And then there's a final one right here. Um, so that's the whole loop. Um, you would do the bandit leaders. And whenever you see new weapon racks respawn when you come through Cyclops' lair, uh, you can uh, follow up this way, you can hit the last bandit leader, you can come back down, uh, hit up Abandoned House and uh, Odysseus' palace for four more items. Um, I don't, I didn't have taken exact count of how many things I had there uh, when I was selling, um, but it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 170, 180-ish. Uh, I could go back and look, but I'm not going to. Um, you can rewind the video if you want to check. And that's how many you would need if you want to do it on Kefalonia. Now, if you're thinking that's f crazy, why would you do that? That's a total waste of time. You're absolutely right, um, because um, the much faster way to do this is to just use a user-created story. The problem is, is that those aren't available on Kefalonia. Um, so if you want to one-shot the Stone Fists, that's kind of what you got to do. And I wanted to one-shot the Stone Fist. Um, but I will be making a follow-up video to this video um, that shows you how to do it with user-created stories, which you can unlock um, real easily. 